Let's solve the scary electrostatic triangle problem. In this problem, we want to know what is the force and direction on the charge at the origin. I will define the charge at the origin as, the, as 1, the charge here at point 6 as 2, and then the charge up here is 3. That will help with the notation. Well, we can see right off the bat that the force between 1 and 2 is directed along the x-axis because opposite charges attract. And then the force vector, oh, and sorry, let's label that F1, 2. And then the force vector between uh, charge 1 and charge 3, well, that's going to be directed just like this. We'll label that F1, 3. And we expect our answer that is a total force vector somewhere between the two. So something like this. And that will be our F total. Now, it's very important to understand that force is a vector. So the total force is equal to F1, 2 plus F1, 3. But we're adding them like vectors. That means we add the x's to the x's and the y's to the y's. Let's write out the uh, answers for F12 and F13. And these are solved in a separate vodcast. So see, that, see those for the details. F12 is all in the x direction and it's equal to 1.2 newtons i hat. i hat means x direction j hat means y direction. So F13, well, clearly this guy has both a horizontal and a vertical component. And again, see the following vodcast for uh, the details, but the answer comes out to be 0.432 newtons in the x direction, plus, and I'll put it below, plus 0.576 in the j direction. So when we add these two vectors, F12 to F13, we need to add the x to the x and then the y to the y. Now, there is no y component for F12, so we already know the answer there. It's just the uh, 0.576. So we, let's write this out. F total is equal to 1.2 plus... 0.432 in the x direction and then in the y direction it's 0.576 and adding these up we get 1.632 newtons in the x direction plus 0.576 newtons in the y direction. Great, we're essentially done. All that's left to do is to find the magnitude and direction, but we have all the information we need. So let's draw the triangle again, and I'll draw it down here. So here's our coordinate system, but this time I'm gonna draw the force vectors. So we've got 1.62, sorry, 1.632 Newtons in the X direction, for the total force, so I'll just make a mark there, and 0.576 in the y direction, and therefore we get a total force vector that looks like this. Now, to find the magnitude, we just use Pythagorean theorem. Magnitude is just the length of the vector, so that's just the square root of 1.632 newtons squared plus 0.576 newtons squared, all under the square root. And we get an answer of 1.7 newtons. Very good. Now we know the magnitude. Now, to find this angle, well, we can use tan theta because, and I'll write it right below here, tan theta equals opposite, which is F y, the y component of the force, over the adjacent, which is the x component of the force. Therefore, theta 
is equal to the inverse tan of 0.576 newtons divided by the 1.632 newtons and we get an answer of 19 degrees. So we found the magnitude and the direction of the total force acting on charge 1 due to the charge 2 and charge 3. Not so bad after all. Again, see the other vodcasts for the details of finding F12 and F13.